Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and you have the pop-up message to connect to the database. You click connect. It will show all the existing database. Expand the databases. These are the existing databases that you have. So let's say you want to create a new database. Right click and click new database. And you give the database name here. Let's say it is a clinic. Let's name from database. We OK. It is created here. And expand the screen DB. Expand the tables. It has no tables. So to create a table, you right click table, click new, new table, and it shows the column name or the attributes for the uh, table. And say this is a patient table, but by, de by default, the name of the table is table one. So we can here attribute or the column name and it is uh, integer and patient name and this is uh, by default it is VP long for our name so we use it to 20 characters and each each and the data type should be integer patient um, contact number contact number and we use server to and that's it and you can save this uh, table default name is table one we want to save it as a fashion table this is a fashion table you can click here save table one or you can click file and then here save table one so it's easier just to click at the icon and default name table one replace it with the name of the table p fashion table okay it's supposed to be shown here but you need to refresh to see the table. TBL patient table is here. And we just created this uh, table, database structure, and we need to key in the value. Right click, and it top 200 rows. So it goes here. We need to create it. Uh, let's say number one patient name is uh, Ali. And then change it should not exceed 10 characters as this age as the name is also cannot be more than 20 characters. If you exceeded uh, 20 characters for name or this uh, contact number more than 10 characters, it will show the error message because it's exceeded what we have already defined for the uh, number of characters that can be shown here that can be key in okay uh, number two let's say this question is yeah and this is dummy data and we have three uh, patient um, So, click. Then, if you want to see this data, you can right click here and select top. This is the default SQL, and this is the output. Okay, let's now create two more tables uh, to show uh, patient goes for uh, to see the doctor. When the patient goes to the doctor, we must create the appointment. 
find my information. So we first create the table doctor table. So this is integer and doctor name. Um, here is such a by default it is 50 characters reduce it to 20 shorter name should not be that long okay uh <coughs> doctor um, expertise so, uh, okay. uh, Mm -hmm. okay. and save give the default name change it to give the name as a doctor click ok and key in the value uh, refresh you don't see this uh, doctor table here we have created so you want to see it right click and click refresh and you see the doctor uh, table and uh, edit to key in the doctors one let's say uh, expertise is uh, and two we have uh, let's say and this one uh, Right, so uh, three, and then by default, you will save this data. And now the appointment table. Right click again, right click new table, and then uh, default name table one. So a okay, ID, appointment ID, data type. Okay. Um, uh, we need to link this table with patient and doctor because we want to have the information, uh, the patient and also the doctor. Right, so this is uh, patient ID and now we need to read the it's integer. So it's integer, it's integer, right? And we have uh, doctor ID, also integer. And we have uh, the date and uh, this is um, date if you click date uh, I would say date and time All right, so that's it so click save and this is appointment appointment okay it's created refresh to see the table it is there key in the data, the values, yeah. edit. So this is one, let's say patient ID one, and then the data ID is uh, also the first data ID, and then the date, so let's say it is uh, 12, uh, 7, 20, 22, and uh, number two, patient ID uh, two, I think, uh, seeing they say seeing the same doctor and uh, but at a different date. Uh, let's say the okay, and then we have uh, patient ID uh, ID number three, seeing doctor ID two. Okay. Um, So let's say these are the values. Let's see. Okay. Um, yeah. 
you have this uh, if you want to see this data you click select that 1000 issues and you can type your own sql so you right click here you can type select um, uh, so check the statements here command success completed successfully if you execute then it will show all the uh, patient information let's say you just want to show patient id and patient name so you select select as you just now is to show all the uh, columns of that table so let's now you want to see just a uh, patient id and uh name and let's say the age uh, the contact number okay. number check whether these statements are right or wrong or there's an error we check no errors and we execute so it just shown patient id patient name and contact number without patient age because we selected these three uh, columns or attributes so as easy as that we have created a uh, patient, doctor, and appointment. Right. That's all. Very easy.